Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus. And it will be from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021. So I hope you're well Cancer and Happy New Year. I'm doing these just on the New Year, New Year's Eve. So let's pull your angel card and see what we get for you for the week. What do we have, angels? What is the message for Cancer for the week, please? Thank you. Really nice energy. We have no need to worry. So if you've been worrying about something, if there is something that's stressing you out, you're being told you're definitely being watched over by angel spirits guides. Lovely energy there. Very positive affirmation. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards to go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for cancer, please? Angels. Oh, the cards flew out there. <laughs> Okay, Angel Spirits Guides. A lot of energy in these cards, Cancer. So let's see what we get for you. What do we have for Cancer, please? Message for Cancer for the week. So first card is you, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we go deeper into the message and clarify the cards. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so we have the fool. So this is your current situation. Your challenge, Cancer, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The star, very nice energy, is advice from spirit. And your outcome, we have the five of swords. Okay, let's just straighten these up a little bit. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into it. It's funny, the fool was at the bottom of the deck um, that I pre-shuffle before every reading. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Cancer. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. Seven of Swords and the Two of Wands. So the Knight of Pentacles, Cancer, is clarified with the Seven of Cups. The Star Energy is clarified with... It's interesting. The Star is Aquarius. This is another Aquarian energy, the Six of Swords. And the Five of Swords is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. There's a feeling here, Cancer, it feels like money and career. I'm getting a really strong sense of money, career, finances. Because the fool is that you want a new path. I feel that this is a desire or something that you're working towards, Cancer. And I love the energy because the, the Fool is a, a great energy. He is the start of the Major Arcana, number zero in the Major Arcana, which is anything is possible with the Fool card. You can carve out your own path in whichever direction you wish to go. This is complete liberation. And it might well be that some of you want to liberate yourself from your current jobs, current businesses or current partnerships, call it what you will. It feels like it's to do with money, career, business. Um, and this is somebody who wants to... It's a, it's, a, it's a rebel energy, the fool as well. I mean, we don't talk about that quite a lot in tarot, but it is an energy of Uranus. It is that rebel revolutionary energy, wanting to shake things up, open a new path for yourself. And it feels some of you are looking at your options because this is to do with your future, how you're moving forward, uh, making some clear choices and decisions, but keeping things close to your chest in how you want to open up a new path for yourself. I get this feeling that you want to kind of like move from a job where you're not happy. Something's happened here in your current 
financial situation or job situation, you're not happy and you want to look at your options. That's for sure. And you're doing something covertly, keeping things to yourself, which is necessary sometimes, and considering your options, making life choices, planning for your future. So, and you know, there's such potential, both a fool and the two of wands is a great, a great cards of potential. There's real potential and growth. So lovely, lovely energy. The, the message is with the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Um, is that the opportunity, you're looking at your options, for some of you, I mean, this could be online, this could be, um, there may well be opportunities online that you're going for right now, but the opportunity doesn't seem to be manifesting. And that's the challenge, it's just taking forever. And that's kind of what I'm feeling for you. It's just, it feels like there's delays. Things aren't happening as quickly as you want them to you are wanting to take that leap, a firm leap in a new direction for yourself because you're not happy with where you are. But the message is with the Knight of Pentacles, he does come and when he comes, um, he brings real positive change and growth and stability and security. Um, but he takes a long time to appear <laughs> and it feels like for some of you, with the Seven of Cups, this offer, this opportunity. You may well have even had a conversation or interviews and then not heard back, you know, or you could have had a number of interviews and you're waiting to hear, or you might just be going for some options or opportunities here, uh, very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes, and they're just not manifesting as quickly as you want them to. But this is about an offer coming in. Um, someone making you an offer, winning a contract, um, getting some new business, you know, it's, it's that kind of energy or money coming your way, but it's very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. And it feels in this situation, Cancer, it's just not coming. And then we have the advice from Spirit, which is very much in line with this no need to worry card. Very much in line. So I like the fact that in the advice from Spirit, you have spiritual cards. And this is saying that you are on the right path have faith and um, there is definitely an energy that you're being watched over this is the blessings the divine wish fulfillment that if you keep putting your effort and energy into the path that you're on you will achieve your hope dream and wish because you will get the blessings the reward from the universe and you will move from transitional uh, in a transitional way from choppy waters to calmer waters from difficult times to better things ahead so there's a lovely energy here of don't worry I mean, this can also be about don't worry. I mean, it can be a calming of the nerves and um, can be to do with the nervous system as well. So there is definitely an energy here of keep calm and carry on. <laughs> and that's what I'm getting, a really clear message. Um, yeah, there's definitely a message here, keep calm and carry on, Cancer. Because for some of you, you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed. In that mind, your perspective, the sword is to do with the mind, the perspective, how we see things, our thought patterns. It feels a little bit negative, you know, understandably. Certainly if some of you have had some kind of financial knock or hardship or career change, uh, this is the result of that, you know, the, the Eight of Swords, where you're thinking it's never going to happen, the situation is futile, it's never going to change. The message is, don't worry because the two fives here are disruptive energies. It feels like there has been big disruption, big change, and it feels like negative change here. It's caused bad feeling, resentment, tensions, and it could be in your current workplace. And the five of pentacles is, it, I mean, it could be to do with a change in job role, that you're not happy with. It might be reduced pay as well, pay cuts, could be to do with the pandemic, could be other reasons for that. Um, but you're not feeling happy about it. This is just somebody who is not happy, understandably. And you're wanting to do something about it. But it feels that it is a bit of a waiting game. But you are being told there is no need to worry. Definitely an energy of, of keep calm and carry on. Keep putting that effort into the direction that you're going because you are on the right path. 
So don't think for a minute that you have to rethink or relook at something. The definite message is that the opportunity is coming. It feels it's, it's delays. So, you know, because this is very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. This is very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. It feels like this, whatever the opportunity is here that you're choosing to go for here, is going to be manifested. But, you know, you will move. You are on the right path again with this Six of Swords. You are going to go in the right direction. Things will start moving forward. It might can sometimes mean moving, relocating, um, or life transitions, you know, where you're just not at the end game yet, but you're going in the right direction. And that's what both of these cards are saying. So the message is definitely, I keep on getting this so strongly for you, Cancer. So keep calm and carry on <laughs> um, because you're going to get there. So... It's a lovely message. Okay, so final message for Cancer, please. Yeah, I, I love that. There's light at the end of the tunnel. That's definitely what I'm getting. Um, we have the Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Yeah. Lovely reading, Cancer. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.